all aboard as we day trip down to Essex steam train and riverboat. It's a step back in time. It's it's almost like a time warp. It's just a great experience to see something so old yet yet it's here in your own backyard. And I've been coming here since I was a kid, so I mean to live my childhood dream and do it for a living. That's I mean for me can't can't get much better than that. Paul and Carmen grew up with a love for the rails, but say for some kids, it's not always a common sight to see. Trains have gone almost to the to the wayside for a lot of kids, and uh, we get to bring an element of education to them, but also an experience that's nothing can nothing can replicate this. And if you thought the train was cool, check out the rail bikes. This is something that I think that's really added us onto the map. Um, we're not just a railroad with trains. We're not just a Christmas train. Um, we're, you know, it's all about the adventure and the experience. To ride the rail bike, you must be at least eight years old and four feet tall. A two-seater will cost you 75 bucks. The four-seater, 125. That will get you a 90-minute, eight-mile trip. If you love nature, if you're a cyclist, if you're anything, um, come out and ride with us. You'll see beautiful parts of uh, the southern Connecticut River Valley. If you want to come ride the rails for yourself, Essex Steam Train open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for now. Absolutely. All the information on our website, fox61.com. Tomorrow's day trip taking us rock climbing, so we're getting ready for that. All right, on the rails, I'm Keith McGilvery. And I'm Margot Farrell. Fox, Fox 61, 61 News. News. Pedal, 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 <laughs> pedal, pedal. So many great places, Keith and Margot. Thank you very much.